Peace, love, and a bottle here. Okay, y'all. Shout out to Gemini. We're turning once again for another amazingly amazing video. Okay. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm really feeling really good. I'm feeling like in a very prosperous. Uh, I'm feeling in a very. Um, just been sitting in the prosperity mindset lately. And I've just been feeling like. Just really, really good. Um, this is Thursday, too. So Thursday is the day of Jupiter for abundance, uh, growth prosperity things like that so that's maybe was added to the energy um of course i want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel um thank everybody for your comments for your dms for your questions and also for y'all inquiries um about my readings i really really appreciate that um if you do, are interested in the reading as i stated before uh, please email me. Um, of course, I will post my email below in the description box as well as visit my website cosmicchaos.com slash shy the Gemini. Okay. Um, also, while you're there, make sure you take up the whole entire website because there are other people who have other gifts besides me that can help you with your needs. Okay. Or just to help give you guidance, wisdom, things like that. Okay. Um, so I do just really want to make that known. So please visit my website. I really greatly appreciate it. Um, so yeah so basically i made i'm making this video uh i wanted to make a video talking about uh really just staying in the present and kind of uh reevaluating time linear time okay because i've been really studying uh quantum uh physics and i'm realizing that quantum physics uh and really the secret or the laws of manifestation they actually um, kind of correlate uh, one and the same okay um, and I'm a big science person so this really uh, really sparked my intellect okay um, so um, staying in the present obviously it sounds kind of simple okay but really uh, a lot of people are having issues with anxiety all right and uh, that seems to be like the main thing that everybody is really struggling with okay and really uh, something I've been implementing lately um, to really just keep that away from me because I haven't experienced anxiety in like a few weeks now because I've actually practiced it. So anytime that I talk about something, you know what I'm saying, know that I'm just not talking about the side of my ass. Shit that I'm talking about, I actually apply to my life as well before, you know, I'm not, I don't want to do that. Okay. So, um, basically remaining in the present, I'm gonna start like this. Okay. Everybody views time in the 3D world as being linear so past present future okay and obviously we measure time by uh, sunrise sunset uh, we measure time uh, really based on where you are in the globe or where you are in the world um, based on where the Sun is okay so the Sun is really the determiner uh, is that a word it is I'm gonna make it a word It's really um, the thing that determines time okay linear time in the three dimension in the third dimension okay so even when people speak on um when people speak on dimensions they are actually we can only access them when you're when you're sober in the 3d world by states of consciousness okay so uh the way that uh young pharaoh explained it uh i credit uh young pharaoh for a lot of my uh foundational work in my journey the way he explained dimensions um, in his videos a while back was the 3d world will be like um, Call of Duty okay you can go when you're playing Call of Duty you're playing in third person all right so you can go forwards backwards left down right up and you can see everything in front of you all around you front down left right up you can go move forwards backwards side to side things like that but you cannot see your body okay so think about it when you play in you know modern warfare and games like that okay but the 4d um will be like um the fourth dimension will be like assassin's creed or uh, i don't know if y'all gamers I'm, I'm using video games because i play video games um or it will be like assassin's creed or gears of war where you are the player right but your the perspective or the you is actually can actually view your your body okay so you can not only view your body and view the vessel but you can also view uh, the same shit in three days so you can look at up down right left but you're looking at it now from your uh from another perspective kind of looking down on your body okay so that's kind of the 3d i don't know if that was a good way of explaining it but 
I'm sure y'all get it because I'm sure y'all seen somebody play Gears of War, y'all play Gears of War, Assassin's Creed, or whatever. So y'all understand what I'm talking about. Um, now I'm still trying to uh, fathom um, the 5D, okay? Because I have a, I I can now differentiate when I'm in a 3D consciousness or when I'm in a 4D consciousness because I'm literally con cognizant of my my doings onto people. I'm cognizant of the way I interact with people or if I, the way I behave or just, I'm, I'm able to look at myself from a 4D perspective. Like I'm the motherfucking playing Assassin's Creed, you know what I'm saying? So um, it takes maybe a minute to kind of actually uh, get there, okay? So I can honestly say, yes, I can identify between when I'm in the 3D and when I'm in the 4D, okay? Uh, but the 5D um, and other dimensions is what I'm learning about and it's really kind of tricky to really determine um, how it is how the perspective is in the fifth dimensional world and above okay um, I just know like uh, Bobby Hemick explained um, your projections basically everything that you see including yourself so whether there's a pop can right now I'm looking at this tree I'm looking at some really pretty flowers over there okay um, those are just projections of projections of projections of projections okay and then you have uh, multiple project those multiple projections would just be reflections of other dimensions okay so right now I'm viewing that tree in the third dimension but in the fourth dimension it's a, it's just a reflection from it's really complicated dimensions and astral physics and shit it's really complicated but it really is just projections of projections from higher realms okay so so far in the milky way galaxy we have about 10 dimensions known you know what i'm saying from what we know as of now obviously they may be more because the universe is infinite but okay so i said all that to say uh to kind of really help you understand um perspective of time okay so as i stated a minute ago uh, 3d time is from past present and future right but you got to understand past present and future time is really just conjoined so there's no such thing as past present and future there's only the right now okay so the same shit that i don't know that's occurring 20 years from now you know what i'm saying is happening right now even though it's not physically manifesting in the third dimension you know what i'm saying you know just it's happening beyond your 3d five five senses Okay, so it's happening beyond things that you can smell, see, touch, taste, things like that. Okay, so understand that um, all that shit is just conjoined. Okay, so there's no such thing as the future. There's a such thing as the now. All right, so this is why when they're telling you uh, when you're manifesting, pretend like it's already here because what it, the desire that you have to manifest whatever it is that you're manifesting is literally... Um, already happening you know what i'm saying if you have the thought if you can visualize it if uh it is very clear in your head it is most certainly uh going to manifest in the uh third dimension you just have to make sure that you get the physical physical things to line up so that it may actually appear in the 3d you know what i'm saying but in the 4d and um the other dimensions where your higher self lies okay um these things are already transpired okay so that's just really a brief way of me explaining um uh, remaining in the present okay so when you're going through anxiety or when you're experiencing anxiety or when you're just just feeling just anxious okay understand because i made a tweet about this last week understand that and i'm talking about mundane anxiety like you know trying to figure out how to how you're gonna pay your bill or you know trying to um, you just took a test or some shit like that and you're nervous about it. Just I'm talking about mundane things. I'm not talking about traumatic anxiety, okay? I have to clarify that up because I had gotten to a discussion on Twitter about that, all right? So in regards to mundane anxieties that everybody feels each and every day about money and, and all their assets and things like that, it is imperative that you realize that the present is your point of power, okay? Anxiety really comes from um, shit that hasn't even happened yet or shit that might not even happen because the mind is so powerful that sometimes we create scenarios in our head due, due to nervousness and anxiety that's not even fucking there so if you do that shit enough eventually you know the mind is all the universe is mental if you do that shit enough 
then eventually you're going to be creating the shit that you fear, okay? So this is why, you know, people tell you don't focus on when manifesting. Do not focus on the shit, that, the outcome that you do not want. That's counterproductive to what the fuck you do want, okay? And I know it's very, very hard, but it comes from really disciplining the mind. And like I said, know, knowing who you are and knowing your purpose. Because if you knew who you are and you knew your purpose, you know that um, no matter what may happen, the universe will always take care of you, regardless, okay? So that's what I mean by that. So understand that your anxiety is only triggered by some shit that hasn't even happened yet so it is very imperative that you focus on the present you try to remain in the present and be cognitive of your present surroundings because the present is really the point of power the present is really the uh really the ability to create the future so if you so fucking busy worrying about the future you neglect the present that help that can help you prevent the future you know what i'm saying like so a lot of people don't really realize that. A lot of people think that um, that their lives is ordained by something else. Your life and your destiny and where you choose to go in this lifetime is based on you and your actions in this present moment. Okay. So understand how important the present is. And in order to do that, um, there are many mechanisms you can do. Sometimes, you know, I I talk to myself a lot. You know, uh, I tell myself, hey, you know, this thing hasn't happened yet. You know what I'm saying? I remind myself who I am. I remind my, I change my thinking. Um, if I see a number at the time of me being anxious, that's an even more confirmation that my ancestor spirit, God, spirit, or whatever the fuck, is just letting me know, hey, you tripping right now relax shit hasn't even happened yet so when i'm able to be in my point of power in the present um, i'm able to change my outcomes of the shit that i'm anxious about okay understand that the president is a very 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 powerful position to be in and we underestimate it so much because we so fucking worried about future events when the future is really the present because there's no such thing as time. Time is only linear. You know what I'm saying? The, the Gregorian calendar has put, uh, has put a, what am I trying to say? The Gregorian calendar has put a, a measure, in a sense, on time. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that is kind of where the confusion comes from when, um, appealing about time. So, when you understand that, and when you understand where you're going and the things that you don't want, where you're actually manifesting, um, that really makes it uh, a lot easier. That would really eliminate anxiety and your worries and your fears because you understand like, hey, I'm in the present now and I'm worried about things that hasn't even happened yet. So what can I do now? So you have to ask yourself, what is it that I could possibly do as of now? Okay, like I said, I don't each situation applies differently to that, but there is absolutely something that you can do, something, okay, instead of just being a victim to chance and probability by not owning your present moment, by not owning you being a present, being the present, okay? So there's absolutely something that you can do, especially if you're on the path, you know what I'm saying, you went through your initiation process, you're experiencing transformation, like I told y'all in my last video, you are going to be okay, okay? For the most part, you are going to be okay, all right? So the universe is never gonna leave you assed out because like Sister Myra says, I fucking love Sister Myra. She says that we are in training to be, um, the new rulers of the new world now you know what i'm saying so it's a slow gradual process yes it is because you know of course we want the apocalypse you want this shit to end but you know let's do something in within the matrix before this shit collapses you know what i'm saying let's you know have prosperity let's you know utilize technology and and, and express ourselves while this shit is still here Okay, so I had to really reevaluate that too. Like, damn, like, fuck, humanity still exists. No, I had to realize, you know, hey, while this shit's still existing, while the matrix is still up, I'm going to use that shit to my advantage and I'm going to do something. Um, I'm going to use this to do something to reflect my purpose, basically. I'm going to use this to get my message out. I'm going to use this um, to. Um, continue to help people and continue to communicate with people um, by using the things that are you know within this thing called the matrix all right so I know that was a lot all right um, I like I said I, I, I this is really like an intro a lot of things I do intros too because I don't want to talk about things you know one that I'm not even confident I can uh, fully uh, explain yet or not fully mastered that in yet and I just don't believe in being that person but yeah just understand y'all you know time there's no such thing as time 
okay the past the past present and future are all linear they all happen in one moment okay so if you're manifesting something understand that it's already happening it's just up to you to bring the materials it's like what you want is scattered so you have to just it's already there you know what i'm saying it already exists but you have to find a way to bring it together all right and just understand that destiny is made by you destiny is made in this moment this present moment with you watching this video you determine your destiny there is nothing not even spirit spirit may work with you and assist you and send you shit but ultimately spirit or god or whoever the fuck resides within you okay so there's nobody who was in the sky was just like all right so this person gonna be born on this day then on this day this is gonna happen at this time and then 20 years later this is gonna happen and then they supposed to be this no it doesn't work like that everything your destiny is really determined by you your circumstances your situations and even if you do even if you do encounter a circumstance understand that that circumstance is just another one of your initiation processes all right for whatever lessons that you need to learn I, like i said obviously i can't tell you that because i'm not y'all i'm not in access to y'all subconscious okay and just understand that the subconscious is rules all so if your subconscious is fucked up and actually i forgot to mention that too your subconscious is connected to uh those other dimensions in the 4d and shit being uh time being linear okay so if you can really program your subconscious um because the subconscious is the past present and future you know what i'm saying the subconscious lives in um that realm where you can step outside of 3d time and understand that all this shit is just together all right so if you can really program your subconscious to uh really tell it or tell yourself because your subconscious is just your higher self um what is it that you want that shit will come together okay and you cannot let the ego the ego is a motherfucker and i know when y'all manifesting it be like that little voice will um it's called analysis paralysis okay when you want something done you know it's going to happen but the ego mind or the conscious mind will tell you or will fucking drive you insane and try to be like well how's this gonna happen how you gonna do this how you gonna pay for this what if this don't happen you know what i'm saying so sometimes you have to train the conscious mind to shut the fuck up and that's hard it is because i told y'all once you get into the spiritual the ego is going to sense that and it's going to want to do everything it can to sabotage you and your uh subconscious mind to keep you from what the fuck you already know you know what i'm saying because the subcon the conscious mind really lives in the 3d you know what i'm saying so y'all really have to differentiate those type of thinking patterns you know what i'm saying i did a video um about uh the ego versus you know the soul and the spirit so um go watch that uh to get a little more uh differentiation between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind all right so um i just really just wanted to share this i feel like somebody needed this um and low-key when i talk to y'all i'm low-key talking to myself too all right so with that being said um i will leave all my contact information below i just want to let y'all know i love y'all so much and um I'll see y'all next time. Bye.